Three Montgomery County tobacco stores caught in the middle of a big investigation. It comes after two people overdosed on what's believed to be THC gummies that contain fentanyl. Our Hank Flynn with more. Well, sure, Montgomery County DA Kevin Steele is the last guy to jeopardize an ongoing drug investigation by talking about it. Still, he pulled the press together today simply because he said he's afraid of anyone else overdosing after ingesting fentanyl lace CBD and THC gummies all sold in Monco smoke shops. This is a public safety problem. Monco DA Kevin Steele says at least two people have overdosed after eating specific CBD or THC edibles. He's in the middle of an investigation. The two victims have recovered, but still, he issues this warning. Please do not take these. Do not eat them. Do not allow children to eat them. Um, they contain fentanyl. You could die. Monco had 223 overdose deaths in 2021, two-thirds of them involving fentanyl. The THC and CBD edibles displayed were confiscated from three Monco tobacco hut stores Thursday night and tested. We served search warrants uh, on three stores after making undercover buys um, in those stores. Um, we went in. Uh, we had a lot of manpower, um, and uh, these are... A, a few of the items. These places were lined um, with these items. Cones and gummies from manufacturers nationwide. Two of those companies told me on the phone that fentanyl is not and has never been any part of their business plan. One is publicly traded and Tobacco Hood defended itself. As I told you, I believe we're victims and we always value our our customers and we would not we would never sell anything illegal. Uh, and we will never, like, carry anything illegal. Ibrahim al humaidi unlocked the store today, having gotten notice from authorities that he was permitted and quickly pulled the red signs down from the windows. The Tobacco Hut operations manager lamented that much more inventory had been taken than he thought necessary, and his shopkeeper, he's a middleman, he says, dealing with the best vendors he can find and the products they make. We always check their lab results before we bring anything. Each product has a QR code that has the lab result and we bring them from like legit manufacturer they, and the, the manufacturer sh should have done their homework. Now no charges have been filed but the two manufacturers that I spoke with one Wisconsin one in California both told me that for several reputable nationwide manufacturers to come up hot for fentanyl under one retailer they said is highly highly suspect. Where did the fentanyl come from? DA Steele said he can't tell us again it's under investigation and this investigation goes to the federal level this may not be the last we'll hear of it. In Montgomery County Hank Flynn Fox 29 News.